Hey guys, today I wanted to make a quick video because I got a really good question on Instagram asking me how I got back on track. So I want to address all that and talk about it. If you've been following my journey, you know that I decided to have a free for all for my honeymoon and just eat whatever I wanted. But it went beyond that. I kind of ate whatever I wanted whenever I wanted, like my three meals and then meals within meals and then snacks within meals and midnight meals and just meals upon meals. So over my two and a half year journey, I've had to get back on track for like little things like having a binge or a cheat weekend or maybe getting back on track after the holidays. I've never gained more than like two or three pounds and it's been pretty like smooth going for most of my journey. The best way I found to get back on track after those binges would be nipping it in the butt and getting uh, things done quickly. So having a cheat weekend and getting right back on it on Monday, having a good sweaty workout, cardio, sweating a lot, uh, releasing all that sodium, that re water retention, drinking a lot of water, drinking a lot of green tea and eating healthy. A lot of people choose not to eat after they've had a binge because they feel like they've got to make up for all the extra calories they consumed. But I wouldn't. I would still eat all of my meals, but they would just be really, really healthy and um, an emphasis on fruits and vegetables because they're super hydrating and nutrient rich and everything. So after being off track for a whole week on my honeymoon, I came home and I continued to eat like crazy. I didn't work out and we ordered in a lot, went out a lot and it was just really hard to get back. So each day I was off track got me further and further from my goal and further and further from being able to get back on track easier. It just made it harder and harder the more and more I separated myself from my journey. So I've been really really trying. Um, it was two solid weeks of being completely off track and then since then each week I've improved a little bit. The main thing I can tell you is to just keep trying. Just promise yourself to never give up. Just keep trying each day and some days you're going to win and some days you're going to lose. So far it's been a few good days and one bad day. A few good days and one bad day and as time goes on you know, there's gonna be more good days than bad. It's just, you're going to have to get used to it again because what I did was I got used to the unhealthy lifestyle again. I got too comfortable in it because I let too many days go by. I um, made that my habit again because they say it takes like three weeks to build a habit. So when I first started my journey, it probably took me a good solid month to get used to the healthy eating. And that's why they say the beginning's the hardest part. And then once I was fully in the healthy eating and it became a routine and it became second nature and it felt easier, that's when things um, start moving forward easier for you and results come quicker. But what I did on my honeymoon and then letting it trickle on for another couple of weeks was I made my bad habits a habit again and I started acting like the old Jen and getting comfortable with her again. Just eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. So at that point, the biggest favor you can do for yourself to get back on track would just be to keep pushing forward and keep fighting each day. And I promise you, eventually it'll get easier. It's like you're starting all over again. Um, you're gonna be going through those same withdrawals and those same crankinesses and the same laziness and the same um, cravings. Like you're gonna be going through it all again like you did at the beginning. So get back on track is kind of like how you felt at the beginning but you have to believe in yourself and you have to love yourself enough to uh, put in that effort and that's what I'm doing I could easily give up right now that's like it's so much easier to give up than to fight to get back to where I was and to keep pushing forward it seems like a lot of work but you have to remind yourself that you are worth the effort you have to find your motivation you have to look back at old pictures of yourself from before you lost the weight and you have to remember how you felt in those moments and how miserable you were and how uncomfortable in your skin you were um, and it will make you not want to go back to that. It will scare you and it'll make you want to push forward. Even if you keep slipping up, you just have to keep trying because eventually one good day will turn into two good days, three good days, and you'll have more and more good days in a row, which will eventually be 
you back on track. The other thing you gotta do when you're trying to get back on track from just being out of control is kind of look within you. Um, and you have to get into your mind space because your mind controls everything. Your body cannot get healthy. Your body cannot get right if your mind is not right. And there's a reason why you're binging and you've got to figure that out. Um, there's a reason why you're feeding yourself constantly and making yourself sick. You're feeding feelings and you're trying to fill yourself up with something that makes you happy in the moment because something in your life has you unhappy or stressed and you have to really, really think of it. Um, if you just think, oh, it's just because I love food, that's only a small percentage of it because I love food. I really do. I love every moment of it. But why? Why do you have to eat so much of it? Why can't you just have the one little piece of something or wait for the weekend cheat meal? Why are you binging and off track now? Why? Because there's something. There's something that's stressing you out and making you unhappy or making you uncomfortable or making you feel like you're not worth the effort. You've got something going on and you have to dive deep into your mind and figure it out. So sometimes that requires you to change things up. And if going to the gym isn't working, maybe you need to get within your own mind in a different way, like trying to meditate or going for long walks or, you know, joining yoga, doing something that's going to calm you down and center yourself and figure yourself out and try to wrap your mind around why you're turning to food for comfort because that's what we do. That's what I do. I feed my emotions. I turn to food for comfort. I turn to food to make me happy when I'm bored, sad, upset, happy, everything. Food, um, food is the center of my world. And uh, for the last two and a half years, I've been trying to change my relationship with food and make it more like food is my fuel and um, I can enjoy you know, healthy meals when it's time, but food doesn't have to control me. But it's difficult. I think if you are just a food addict with binge eating disorder, that's, I, I don't know if you can ever be fully healed. Um, I think an intense therapy might help. But for me, what I do is just try to deal with it each day, try to stay in a positive mind frame each day so I don't turn to food for comfort. Like um, working out really helps. I never wanna work out. I don't ever crave a workout, like pop out of bed, like I want to work out so badly, but I know how good it makes me feel once I'm done. So that's what propels me to go and work out. And I know that um, getting those happy, healthy endorphins after a workout is going to help keep me in a positive mind frame, which will help me fight against those um, binge eating urges and falling off track. So. The first thing that has helped me to get back on track is because I have such an addiction to food, um, I knew I could better control my workouts. So I started to get back at it. I was really lazy, not interested, but I've slowly been able to get back at my workouts like four or five times a week. And that's helped me to feel a little bit better about myself and get me in a better mind frame. So lately I find that I'm fully back on track during the week where I'm eating healthy meals and I'm working out every day and it seems all great. The only problem I have is the weekends. That's just like the last piece of the puzzle. That's just like the missing link. Um, I'm kind of just having a free for all on the weekend because I feel like I'm on vacation mode again. So it's just gonna take me a little, a little while. And that's something I wanna tell you guys is like, don't be so freaking hard on yourself. Um, it's not a race. It's not, there's no deadline. It's just you're trying to live a happier, healthier lifestyle. And life's gonna come and life might screw that up and your path that you think is straight might have some twists and turns and bumps. And that's okay, as long as you have your eye on the prize and you keep pushing in that one direction. So if you get veered off track, that's fine. Find another path and get back. Um, I, I feel like I often have a lot of pressure because I've put my journey out there and I feel like people are looking to me uh, for their motivation and then when I'm off track, I feel scared that 
maybe they're gonna get off track. So I feel like the pressure that I've gotta um, get back on track quickly, but I've gotta remind myself that I'm human and I'm just like every other person out there who has struggles and I'm struggling. But I'm proud to say that I'm not going backwards. You know, I'm moving forward. I was off track for two weeks and then the third week was a little bit better. The fourth week was a little bit better. This week has been the best probably. Um, it's just going to get better and better as long as you keep at it. You have to kick guilty in the face and just say get the heck out of here because guilt has no place in a journey. Guilt is just going to keep you in a negative mind frame and it's, guilt is just going to make you make more bad decisions because you're feeding that depression and that guilt with more food and more laziness. So you have to just ignore all that. Try to get your mind right. Try to figure out what has you feeling down. What has you feeding your feelings? What has you binging? Um, and try your best to push forward and to me a sweaty workout always gets me in a positive mood to move forward so that's usually where I start and um, the food follows I mean I I scour Instagram I get inspiration on YouTube and Instagram um, from friends going through the same thing <sighs> talking it out sometimes really helps like I have nothing but hope for myself. If you just doubt yourself, then you're not gonna do anything. You're just going to give up and get, go right back from where, to where you started. So you have to have hope, you have to believe in yourself, you have to want it bad enough, and you have to think you're worth it, and worth the effort, because the beginning is the hardest part. So guys, I started this video, it was daytime, and there was lots of lighting, and now it's so dark and gloomy in my bedroom. Um, you can probably see how grainy the video has gotten because I have like zero lighting. So I'm gonna end this now. Hopefully it was coherent because I didn't write anything down. I didn't plan anything. I just, you know, I, I wasn't even gonna film. I opened my phone, I saw her message and I decided to just film my thoughts on it and my feelings because I'm going through this right now. I'm trying to get back on track right now. And um, you guys have been amazing. You guys have been so supportive. You know, you're always there to lift me up and that has really helped. So I hope that I'm there for you guys to help lift you up, to show you guys that you're not alone and that you can do this. So please do this. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. You can do this. I love you. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Mwah.